right, so I've been sitting here. It's not even six o'clock. I came in here at it was after four. And yeah, yeah, this is where I'm at now. But um, what was something I was gonna say? I completely forgot. Um oh the thumbnail. All right, so obviously I did not vlog this at all, but the thumbnail is an idea in which you can still see what I got going on right there. That's what I did. That's how I started these. And so let's see, I'm gonna have two, one, oh, actually maybe not, let's see. This one, oh, okay. You got to excuse me if I'm not reading the comments right this moment. I'm doing something dangerous, so <laughs> I didn't think I could do this and do this live anyway. But yeah, I'll do a little something. something. Just to kind of show you guys what I'm doing. And then I'm getting ready to actually, I save this little bit because I'm getting ready to show somebody how to braid. So, yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. You did that. I'm loving the colors. Thank you. Yeah, girl, I've been sitting here, like I said, since after four, and I have a lot of nothing. But this just this the leftover purple. I don't know what I had. I just pulled out whatever I had in the closet. I think I have three different colors, which is not unusual because I usually do that anyway. But it's three different colors in here. So, yeah. Whew, okay, I got three left. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna go get Justice. I'm trying to teach Justice how to braid. <coughs> and this is an easy way to, uh, one, if you don't know how to braid, this is a good way to learn. Two, I wanted bigger braids anyway, whether I did them or I went to the shop. And, since I had already gotten that far with my hair, I just decided to go ahead and finish because with no sense in straightening it and not being able to get in because uh, obviously humidity has already, you know, you know, it really don't help to straighten the hair. But <laughs> um, yeah, so went ahead and did all that. Had I not been distracted yesterday, I would have called and seen if I could get in or at least texted, but I didn't. So, leave it to me not to do this myself. I'm going to leave her those last two and see if she can finish them too for me. But, um... One, this is really quick. This is a quick way to do your hair. Two, bigger braids. My hair is really thin. And so in order for me to hold a style like this, like if I was going to somebody and I said, do my hair like this, and they just started braiding, I would freak out later on because what's going to happen is the hair is going to slip and they'll come apart. I need a base on my hair for thicker braids. So that's the reason why they band it. And I've been doing this, y'all, since I was a teenager. These, um, I don't know, a long time ago when the Poetic Justice braids came out, that's what I was doing. But, um, yeah, I have to band them. If they get thick or they will slip right out. And it's not, I mean, you can, if you're doing it by yourself, it's going to take some practice, obviously, because you got to get the back. Um, it's all, it's, you know, all kind of designs and partings and stuff like that to make it real, you know, 
um, jazzy. One day I'll probably do something, but um, I'm pretty even handed doing my hair. I don't worry about they're straight. I know they're straight because of the way I part. But for those of you that, if you're doing your hair by yourself, start in the front. Start your partings in the front and work backwards. That way your front can be your guide and they can be pretty much even. But when you start braiding, um, don't do like I do. Most of the time I start in the back, but um, today I started in the front and most of the time that just happens. People want to start in the front because you want to see the results. But the reason why I say don't start in the in the front is because you need to measure your back. And if you do all the front, you're going to have to lift up a lot of hair in order to measure to know where to singe and cut and all of that. So it's easier to at least get the first row in the back done so you know where to measure. And some of these I'm going to end up probably um, cutting a little more anyway. And then you have to keep in mind that your front may look shorter than your back. But that's just because it's the front. But in essence, they're really the same length. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. and this is the easy hair. Sometimes I end up with hair that tangle, but yeah. Let's put this stuff on here. So, I need to do a protective style for the girls because they want to swim, girl. Yes. I never tried dagging the parts. Sometimes only seen box parts. That's cool. Yeah. I, triangles and zigzags and all kind of stuff. I just, I don't know. I don't, um, <laughs> that was like earlier years. Right now, I'm just pretty straightforward because. I don't know, most older people my age, you wouldn't see, but I I have seen, you know, a few people still get their hair braided like this, but most of them, you know, don't. And I kind of feel like this style is coming back. These big boxy braids are coming back. So, who knows, I could be starting some. I don't know. I feel like even when I do the um when I do my twist, it just depends on the size of the twist. If they're really thick, I have to band them first. If not, that hair will definitely slip out and unravel. <sighs> okay, this is looking ratchet. And I'm going to Dip these braids. I'm gonna dip them, but not now. After I finish later on, get all the little stray strays. That's the part you, you can't be afraid of, but yeah, I think it's a lot easier to singe when you have smaller braids when you're just beginning because a braid like this, if you singe it too fast and you don't singe all of it, when you snip it, it's going to unravel. Sometimes you may be able to save it. Sometimes you probably have to start all over. So it just it's skill. Something that you just learn, little tricks you learn along the way. But I have had that happen. I had a couple of them. Just unravel. Okay, I put one, two, three. And I don't even know why. Mm -hmm. Do 
one of these braids. She might look at the camera or the phone and know what I'm doing. And shy up. She claims she don't even know how to braid, but she can get somebody. I'm like, yeah, at my expense, when you could just watch what I'm doing and follow directions. I always try to teach them something like this. That way they'll have some kind of skill because, you know, they can keep money in their pocket like this. Do, do we Go. have any man pizza? I, we're going to have some pizza. How did you know we were having pizza? You want to eat? <laughs> I must have read your mind, huh? <laughs> Go ask Justin to come here. Okay. Okay. You'll go. Yeah, they can have some kind of skill. Ooh, and I think the best thing I can say, the thing you have to be careful with um, braiding your hair like this is not to braid down, braid out. And the reason why you don't want to braid down is because you're going to end up catching another section. So that's the most thing is going to take you patience to remember braid out, not down. And the same thing when you're banding your hair, you have to remember to band out because if not, you're going to end up, I did that and I couldn't figure out what I did. Like I banded one section to the next. So I had to undo that, but yeah, not that bad. Yep. I just to do this. You have to come do my hair. I'm gonna do your hair. Yes, you do. Yes, you I don't. Like I said, just do it. Why don't you just do just it? Just do it. She I probably can't. can't. See, exactly. Okay. Like, I can't. Look, you're I gonna take this, this. Try to get it even, and wrap it around like that, and just start braiding it like that. I just gonna do this. Why can't I do it? Why don't you make her? She will. Close that door. I'm watching my show. Mm-hmm. Get it as close to my scalp to cover that band. I'm trying. See, I'm not good at this. Three start. I'm gonna break the hair. Get it comfortable either over or under. I, just however it's comfortable for you. I'm trying. She's telling you to try. You gotta try. This is what I'm doing. I'm trying. And this the, I mean, you got the band. That's the easy part. Without the band, it might be a little harder. Wait, but what, what happens when I run out of this hair? You're not going to run out. I want you to keep going a few more times, and then you're going to mix my hair with the hair. Make sure it's tight, though. I don't know. If it, is it tight? I don't know. Yeah, it feels tight. Just keep going. Just keep. Make it tight. Braid tight. And then when you get comfortable, I want you to mix that hair. Grab another piece and mix my hair with the piece of hair. I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to learn how to braid hair if I can just pay somebody to do it. Because you ain't got no money. So what? I have friends. Where, where did I grab another piece of hair from? From the from one of those. Take a piece from one of those ends. It doesn't have to be even, just just enough for you to it's not, don't make it real then. Okay. But mix my hair in with that hair. This doesn't even look good. That's okay. The point is you tried. It 
you feel okay? But does it look good? Let's see what I have to do this. I do this to myself. That's too much work. It's too much work. Now, maybe somebody will understand why people charge so much. This is a mm, What happened to that? It gets better in time. Yeah. Yeah, but that's why it costs so much because it is a lot of work. People don't realize that. Now, I think she would have charged me probably like the same as crochets for this because it's not that much. She said about $120. But people like $120, is that too much? Woo! See, you did it. You know, I don't want to do this. I'm not gonna do this to my own hair. <laughs> I don't even like pretty my hair normally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they go on the length. Why do you think my hair's always in a bun? And the good thing is, I'm gonna do your hair, and then you can do your hair like this. I got enough for a band. Why did Jordan do this? She's the one being. Jordan did it. When? I showed her when I braided her hair. I showed her. Well, I'm out of hair. I won't braid anymore. Okay. Let me see. That's wrong. That does not look good to me. Oh, I don't look good. Let me see. I can tell from her. It's not going to come loose. It might. I don't know. Mm -mm. No, oh, it look good. I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna take it a look. Oh, leave it in there. Can I go now? Uh uh. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Can you go now? The oven's on. Okay, go. Whatever. Yeah. You not. You not even trying. I did okay. try. You, you did good. Yeah, I tried. You did good. She just need help with the blender. That's it. Did pretty good though. Let's see. But I'm gonna have to go back up here where she did blend now that I'm looking at it. And I think she waited too late to get what I was saying. I try to not wait till the end to blend it. I blend it like after a couple of rotations. That way I don't have to be bothered with it. Yeah, she waited to the end. But she did the thing of it. Because then if not, you'll end up with the, your hair sticking out. I don't want to be putting gel on my hair. But overall, she did do a good job. This is what I was most concerned about, the top. She did a good job. Let's see. Let me slip. I, pu I pulled it. <laughs> oh, my bad. Sorry, Justice. Maybe we do this one. I pulled that. Alright, oh, I like that crinkle. y'all, these kids, if you don't try to, you know, see, I get somebody else to do it. She don't understand who got to pay for that. I can see if she was paying for it. Well, I have to learn. These kids do not know that they are privileged. Beyond measure. Okay, I'm gonna not let that slip like that. Well, yeah, when you teach a kid something and or get a kid the responsibility, they whole tune change then. They 
whole tune will change. Hey, look, stuff is not free. Whew. And I have just oh, man. learned how to appreciate the value of stuff. this out so I can keep moving. Whew. Oh yeah, I don't even know. Um, I don't know. I said it's only um, barely at a two hour mark, not even. So I don't know how long it take people to do something like this. Some people say it take them all day. But um, it, it does not take me that long, especially something like this. Oh, goodness. I just went from bad. I went to good, from good to bad. I should have left well enough alone. Looking at this, I keep trying to keep from grabbing it. Okay, get that out of my way so I can see what I'm doing. All right. Mm -hmm. I saved like $150. So I don't and this will work if I do get in there I'll go in there next month or something or for May when I need um fresh hair because I have a feeling that this is going to do me for a while mm. So, I'll probably be going in there, but I don't know. I just don't know what style I want. I don't know what state my hair is going to be in. So, that kind of really determines what I'm going to do and what I will let somebody do. I just, um, I don't like to be an experiment. If I take it down and I see I'm losing, um, you know, I shed it like a whole lot of hair, then I know that I don't need to, I need to give it a rest because something is going on. And I know hair sheds when it is braided, but I know my hair too. If it's feeling really dry and stuff like that. I'm not getting ready to. I don't want to touch it, and I don't want nobody else to touch it. wasn't rushed by the fact that the oven is on when she down there cooking. But, um, yeah, I would have made her do both of them. Back to our roots. Oh, thank you. 
I'm sorry, y'all. I got my glasses on, and it is hard for me to read my glasses on and burn hair. I'm trying to pay attention. I'm going to go back and read the comments in just a minute. But I see them coming. I see a loop right here. One of these days, I might have to show y'all how to get real fancy. Because I can take the clippers, the hair clippers, and get rid of all that if I want to. But it's not, this hair is really good. This is not, some hair you get is like really not that good. And then you get all that split hair. And you really have to, I mean, I don't know. Some people it don't bother. All them flyaways doesn't really look that bad, especially once you dip it. But some people are really anal, they just don't like any of it. Mm. When, I, when I started doing a girl's hair, this is how I would do their hair because they wouldn't sit very long. And um, it was easy for them to manage. They could go swimming and all kind of stuff. So I would do their hair like this. Ooh. Last one. And some hair too. Yeah, this is some good hair. That's why I let her use this hair because one of the kind of hair I first used somewhere, I don't know, that hair tangles a little more. So that's why I left her this purple hair. This purple hair, now if I didn't cut it, it would it was real tangly. When I first used this hair, it was really tangly. I had to cut it. I had to cut like half of it off. Because it was getting on my nerves. But I figured I would leave her this. But this hair in the front, this um, this blonde, the blonde hair, that particular one was tangling a lot. And another blonde up in here, that one didn't tangle, but I used it all. And I don't know what she picked out i have i can't remember what color last time she had gray so whatever color she has that's what she has i'm gonna make her um i'm gonna probably do the same thing and let her practice on her hair and then i might have to go replenish my hair because I went through, it's crazy because I went through as many packs of hair as I would have if I had done smaller braids. So I don't think I have, I probably got five packs of hair left. And, uh, yeah. Five packs to my whole stash. Um, and I usually have at least 20 at a time because I don't know who wants what when that's one of the ends I didn't cut off of this tail that's why I'm still doing that These are kind of um, longish in the back. I see. About an inch, two inches past my bra strap. I think I'm a, I might trim them. I don't know. I just got to look at them and see. I might not be able to trim them again. 
feeling this gracious. You know what? It's irritating my soul. <laughs> I'm trying to get the get on the last little braid and a little booger bothering you. So yeah, I said I'd be getting so many compliments. I was still getting compliments the other day. My hair was looking busted. <laughs> and I'm like, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. The hard part about cutting the hair like that is I have no hands. So I have to be very, very careful singeing this hair because it's pretty much even and you can't let go. If you let go, it will unravel. So essentially, you have to singe it enough. Yes, it is hot. <laughs> To bond it, it's going to unravel a little bit when I let it go, but it's got to be singed enough for the whole thing to unravel because it's thick. Sometimes it's good to keep a little scraggly ends. Then I just do a blunt cut and have all this thickness. Mm. Probably gonna put a thing on there. Put a charm on it. And yeah, you can use rubber bands and you can tie off the ends, all kind of fanciness, but I need my hair to stay. I don't want to be doing my hair over again. Oh, okay, do this one more. That's one thing. This hair does not singe very well, but it does dip well. And then my guess is because of the dye in it. Bag. Oh no, I missed that. I'll read that in a second. So I'm not going to put one over there either. This is some really light hair. I've been 
use some hair that's really, really heavy and I couldn't pull this off. Like I said, I'm not that big and I don't like really thick, thick hair because um, it's too heavy. And this right here is light enough for me to move around with. So may I ask, is it hard to grow out black hair? I'm like that, but hey, come on. Um, it can't, it, it can be hard if you don't have patience and you don't really understand like the, you know, hair is like a science. It can be hard. You know, some people just can't grow hair. Some people have um, what they call growing hands. You have to understand that you cannot, um, whatever you put on your hair, like, um, whatever you put on your hair next to your skin is going to affect you. Now, I would not color my hair. I do know that this hair is colored and I have not had any, um, bad experience so far. So I'm okay experiment, experimenting with the color. But um, I wouldn't color my own hair, stuff like that. It really can, uh, you know, the chemical, uh, the chemicals in the product can, you know, tear your hair down and, um, you know, it just won't grow. Um, hair, uh, anybody's hair, you just have to nurture it. You have to take care of it. You have to understand whatever you're eating Whatever you're doing, your environment, your water, all of that is going to affect your hair. Um, even the energy around you, you know, it, everybody knows that if you around negative people, you have negative uh, issues, you stress out, you lose your hair. And, um, yeah, I just, you know, I try to make sure that whatever I do use on my hair is something that I can consume. If I can't consume it, I'm not putting it on my hair because, um, you know, obviously it's not good, but it's, it takes lots of patience, lots of time. And a lot of it is trial and error, but a lot of it, you know, you cannot, everybody has different hair. You can't, because you see somebody's hair, you might love it. But that does not mean that's going to look good on you or that might not be the style for you. Like I said, if I had gone to the shop and I asked for this and I'm watching how my beautician is installing my braids, I would ask first. But if she said, uh, well, I do it like this, I would turn tail if I didn't have a good relationship and say no, because I know good and well my hair is not going to hold the weight of all of this without some kind of um, base on it. It's just not going to do it. Some people will do that. And, um, you know, they don't think because they don't know enough about hair to know that it's a certain way you braid hair. You can't just braid. I, I, I can look at a lot of styles and it looks really nice, but I don't do those styles because that's just not my jam. Your hair, it, it depends on the hair type. Um... What else? Same with the, you know, regular hairstyle. If you, you know, without braids, you can't, um, you know, some straight, straight styles you might not can't do because your hair is a little bit wavy. It's just, it's not going to work. <coughs> and so I have helped, um, you know, many people um, and with their kids. I mean, literally they come in with nothing and, you know, I can braid it up and by the time they get done, they have a good five, six inches and, you know, a little bit of time. It's like, I've been trying to do this all my life and you just, it's like magic. Um, yeah, you got to take care of it. Something else I was going to say about that. Um, a lot of people will braid their hair, especially with the hair. I'm really picky about the hair that I use. Um. 
It's a big old argument, you know, human hair, human hair. Y'all, it's a whole big thing about that human hair. And it's the reason why I don't use it. Okay? I can't be fooling with no spirits. If y'all know where their hair come from, um, it's a mess. And to have somebody else's hair in your head, uh -uh. nope. Uh... You know, they charge him this the hair come, you know, it's this, it's that. Yeah, uh, a lot of that hair is hair. People come in from, you know, uh, getting haircuts and and uh, trims and stuff like that. They sweep that hair up off the floor. That is the hair that's being put into these bundles and into these units and all kind of stuff. And that's like not one person's hair. That's a whole bunch of people's hair. And it's like whatever they had going on in their body, um, whatever hair issue they had, you just caught that. I don't think, yeah, they chemically process it, but still, you got all them chemicals. It's already been toxic. That's just crazy. Um, you know, for the, for the, you know, for the foundation that does it, you know, they have a point. Um, lots of love and what is the other one for the, you know, I feel for the little babies and, you know, little girls with, uh, going through chemo and, and, you know, stuff like that. But some, you know, that was out of good nature. This stuff right now, this business, it's a whole business, an industry, billions of dollars. And this human hair thing, like I say, y'all don't, you don't want to do that. You just ill, just ill. Um, uh -uh. I can't. I I can't. <laughs> um, if I had it, you know, my way. Hey, hun. Um, you know, I would do something that I didn't have to, uh, you know, ma maintain a whole lot. And I don't really, you know, this is like the easiest thing for me. Even though this was a whole process to get to this point because i can't just take my hair that off and braid my hair y'all kind of saw the whole process um from yesterday to today yes yeah, a whole process and that's why people charge so much and then like if i went in the shop and my hair wasn't um washed i'm i'm getting charged for it to get washed or sometimes they don't even ask you they just you know, you want your hair braided, that's what you're paying for. Um, they don't trim it. They don't care. You know, you have to ask for that. So, like I said, I didn't really know if I was going to go in, but I needed my hair prepped either way it goes so that when I get there, you just, you know, do whatever and be done. And um, I, I just, I don't let anybody dictate and run the show. I did cut off a couple of inches before I um, banded my hair because it just needs to be done. And I pretty much do that every time I braid my hair. So, um, yeah, but it was all in all, you could see how, um, you could see how healthy it was. My ends are not split or my hair wasn't split and it's all one length pretty much. Oh, mommy, I've been bringing that motivation that's why i love the spirit that's still how i got you going me and my sister did my braids but she always most of the time make sure she did it right yeah so yeah i'm just like i said i'm a little bit um i'm a little bit picky no i haven't done anything to my edges y'all know how i feel about that i probably will and um on another note y'all i got i got some um <laughs> i got some wisdom hair finally I kept wondering. I knew it was coming, but I'm just like telling my friends, y'all, y'all just left me behind. I'm going to have to start coloring my hair that wisdom color because it just, it won't wise up. But um, nobody ever said that, but you could tell I have some around here. I got some over here and I got some up in there. So it's like, okay. But I don't, I don't see that wisdom just, you know, I think what's going to happen is up here probably, but it's not going to be nothing noticeable. 
unless I pointed out um, for a long time. My mom didn't have any either. She colored her hair, but she didn't really have any. It was just like a couple little strands, and my grandma didn't either. So I don't, neither one of my grandmas, I don't think I'm going to have any for a long time. So, yeah, that's why I can <laughs> pull off the deal. People not knowing how old I really am. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, thank you guys. And I just want to share that little bit of me, you know, teaching the child how to, um, Oh, how to do something. Let's like say you teach a child something like this, they will never be broke. Trust me. And she know it because all kind of college kids always need their hair done. And, you know, she's fortunate. She has her aunt out there she can go to. But she, that little, that's a side hustle. You'll never, you'll never uh, be broke that way. So, you know, just something that I took a liking to, something I picked up when I was younger, and a couple loops I need to clean up. But I just used to practice on my hair. Really, I didn't know what I was doing. And then people would braid my hair for me, and I just paid attention to what they did. And that's how I learned. I was doing um, corn rolls first. I think, yeah, I was. <laughs> but, yeah. And then mostly, like, when I go out the house, I get, you know, all the time, I'm getting stopped in the store. It's hard for me to get through the store because people are always stopping me. Who did your hair? Can, you know, I need, can you give me their number and how much do they charge and all kind of stuff. And, I don't mind, but sometimes it, it, I mean, literally I can't get through the store. Sometimes I just get bothered and I'm like, oh my God, let me cover my hair up. But, um, you know, I do appreciate you guys, you know, the, the, um, the comments and stuff. Yeah, so it's a beautiful share. Well, I always remember you can get gray bread. Girl, yes. Like I said, just that when I did um, Justice hair, it looked really cute with that gray in there. So I'm like, hmm, you know, I thought about that. But um, this is just how I'm feeling. It just feels so, I don't know, something about the color. Something about the color just, I'm vibing on the color. So for now, I'm going to run with it. I said it. Probably if you was in the store and I'm buying the stuff, you'd be like, you got how many different colors? But really, you can't even tell. It just look, it all blends together. You can't really tell. It doesn't look crazy. But man, they look so good. And I did these in the front, um, really to frame. So I don't have to put them up. If they're this length, I don't have to put them up. I can keep them like this. Otherwise... I would have had to pin them back. So usually I tend to keep my face a little bit shorter so that I can just do this and not be bothered. Unless I'm um, cooking or something. I, it blends, I have black, red, and brown. Yeah. And see a person, if you don't, if you don't do hair, you wouldn't even know. You just look at it and say it look good. You wouldn't know. You know, you wouldn't know anyway. Um I don't do nothing crazy. It makes it unique. Yeah. At first, I didn't understand. I was like, oh, we have to get this color. I wouldn't do no colors, no craziness. I just wouldn't. And then I was like, let me, Um, I don't want to dye my hair, but I want a different color. And then I did that. And then eventually, I did dye my hair this color. My real hair. That was a long time ago, y'all. So, 21-ish. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, when I did that. I remember my mom taught me to pray. Yeah. Yeah. That's a uh you know, little girls love that. So if if you know how to braid, how long will it last? Well, you guys are gonna know, but I'm this is what, the eight, nineteen, twenty or something? I don't even know. 
It's going to make it till the end of next month. I'm not going to redo anything. I'm going to show you guys. And the only reason why I would I would um, take it down is if I got tired of it. But I guarantee it's probably still going to look the same. So, and I tie my hair up every night. And then I use, um, when I take a shower, I keep my scarf on, my um, satin scarf, my satin bonnet. Well, no, it's a scarf. And then I have a huge um, shower cap that I put over that. So I always keep my hair to all of it. The um, shower cap keeps the, I wrap it like this. And like when I used to keep my hair covered, my hair was braided, but you guys didn't know it because I kept it covered. But I would wrap it up like this. And so, um, of course, it wasn't that thick, but, or wrap it in a bun. But I wrap it in the shower cap and um, it doesn't get wet unless I want it to. Now these, I will not get wet. Last the other day's hair, I got wet, but these I will not get wet. So, yeah, I just not intentionally because this would be one because they're so thick and it's going to take forever. And you don't want hair like this to get wet because if it does not dry, it's really hard to tell if it's all the way dry. And then you have yeast and bacteria and all kind of stuff growing in your hair the smaller braids especially when it's hot is really easy and then you can also blow dry them but these because they're so thick i wouldn't even chance that <clears throat> so you want to keep it dry I, you know somebody else may tell you something different i don't know i'm just you know i'm going by experience you don't you know if it's wet take it down But um, as far as maintenance, I'm not putting anything on it. I use shea butter before I press my hair out. Um, I keep a mix of oils. And I'll probably have to share that with you guys. It's a special mix of something. And this is what I use on everybody. We It's the hair, skin, everything. Um, that's what I use. And it just keep your hair, it's like butter. So when I feel like I need to, you know, and I just literally get a little bit and just run, run it on my hands because it just really melts and just do that. And that's it. So it is definitely going to hold, but I'm going to get in here and get these kiddos fed and um, stuff. Like I said, I got a tomorrow. I guess if she's ready, do her hair. But she did straighten it out for me, so I don't know. But, um, yep, that is what I've done. I have my last head cover. Where am I? How do you say it? Let's see, your hair is showing. My hair is spring. Girl, yeah, it's spring. Yeah, me and these hot flashes just was not, I had to uncover because it just, you know, it don't work. It don't work at all. And just too much. The older I get, the hormones and stuff like that. And maybe I just tried to, what I, the only thing I was doing was trying to, you know, just even the air. The air is bad. Protect your hair as much as you can from everything. Um, you know, of course you want to get some air to it, but sometimes this environment can mess your hair up and you don't even think like that. You just, I don't know, maybe I did this or maybe I used that. Some people out here get their hair braided and, oh, I can't keep it in that long. It starts itching. It's not that it's, um, um, it's an allergy and some people don't even realize that you're allergic to the hair. So if you guys get your hair done and it itches, you are allergic. Do not use that brand of hair anymore. And if obviously you don't know if you're going to be allergic to the hair to use it. So I, you know, suggest um, putting a braid in like the day before you want to do your hair a couple days or whatever. And just see if you have any sort of reaction. And... Um, 
you know, go from there. But nine times out of 10, when people, the head get to itching and they got to take it out, it's because they're allergic to the hair. And some people can't tolerate any of this because you, you know, it's synthetic. You, you just can't, even with the human hair, you know, um, there's allergies, but that's an allergy. That's all that is, is an allergy. And yeah, you can, um, uh, wash the hair before you put it in, before you install it. Or uh, use an apple cider vinegar spray, and you know that will help it. But um, if it's an allergy, you don't want to let that. You don't want to. Why risk it? Take it out because the longer it's in there, your uh, you know allergies can be deep set. But you can just kind of. Uh, it can do a lot more damage the longer you keep it in. Is what I'm saying. You know, I wouldn't, you know, if my scalp is, I'm not finna spray all of this and all of that every five minutes, I'm going to take it out. So, I haven't had that issue. But, um, yeah, I know uh, for, you know, for a fact that that has, um, that is the case. And, uh, you know, people are like, oh, I'm glad you said something because I would have never thought. And people, you know, you could be allergic to anything. You could be allergic to water and not even realize it. Um, yeah, I had that issue one time. I was allergic to water. It, it was crazy. So, anywho, thank you guys. I appreciate the compliments. And I will see you guys on another day. And I try to get a vlog up in the morning or something. So, you can see I have a date night vlog. And... Y'all have to bear with me because sometimes I have stuff on my phone that I don't put on the camera and I forget I will unload the camera and not unload my phone. It'll I purposely sometimes I put it on Instagram, but then I forget the whole vlog is on my phone and I'm like, dang. So um you see stuff a little late. But you know, charge it to my head, not my heart. So I'm gonna get um some date nights up. Because I haven't put any thing up on that in like a minute. I don't know. I have a couple places we have been. So you'll get to see that. And some more things. <laughs> have a good night. Enjoy the pizza. Yeah, they're going to have pizza. I have some stuffed grape leaves down there that are calling my name. So, yeah. They're going to eat that. And I'm going to eat my grape leaves. That's what I need. Some real food. <laughs> not that pizza's not good, but yeah. All right, y'all.